Oh, inspiration. Talk about charming. This is our vintage bicycle garden spinner. This is so great. So much fun. Brings wonderful interest. I would love this out front for everybody to see. It's so charming. We have it at a QVC price of $25 for a spinner from Plow and Hearth and an easy pay for to bring it home to you for $6.25. This is so cool because it truly is vintage, not just because it's a bicycle, but because of the finishing. Again, the quality. Look at how the wheels move with the wind. We have two color choices for you. We have a red, which has been the most popular. Not many of the red left. And then we have this really pretty blue. Nancy, thank you for coming back. Thank you for having in me. In our I second hour. These. This is so, <laughs> so, so great because I see a lot of people try to do, uh, you know, go to the, the flea markets, the vintage shops, get one of those old style bikes and, yes. and they plant flowers around it. It could be costly. It could be a very big project. For me, who likes kind of just to stick something in the ground and, and go, it brings it. me that feeling that's, without a lot of fuss. Exactly. That same feeling like when you were carefree as a kid and you went riding your bike, <laughs> yeah. chasing the, the um, popsicle truck, you know, it just kind of reminds me of the bike actually that I learned how to ride my bike on. Oh yeah? Like and this one? Exactly. Just like this one, except mine was yellow. <laughs> uh, uh, well, but I love that they've turned this sort of vintage look into a wind spinner with the wheels spinning around in the two different colors. But you've got all the details of this adorable bike and this is made out of metal. It's mm -hmm. been treated to be left outside and enjoy during all kinds of seasons but even just the details of you know the light on the front here mm -hmm. and then you've got the guard right here with the chain and then I love just the pedals you know that kind of create your bicycle spokes right here yeah. they almost look like uh, flower petals even comes with a brake you just can't see it because it's <laughs> facing our side it is and it all is all about the details especially yes. with something like this now plow and hearth uh your wind spinners are so so popular usually yes. we see the grander ones six feet tall with the, um the floral effect this is something I think for the person who maybe doesn't have the space or doesn't want that big of an item. You want something a little bit more demure um, or heck, you know, pair them together because you love the big wind spinner so much. Yes. But why are they so popular? You know, because Plow and Hearth is really innovative. They come up with those new designs, things that help you add that personality and your charm to your garden and they do it in such great quality. So here you've got something that stands about 51 inches high. It's okay. about 19 inches long. So like you said, this is for someone that might have the smaller space. We're showing it in a planter right here. So maybe you have a condo or maybe you have an apartment and you have a patio that you just can do like smaller things on. This is a great thing to put into a potted plant, mm. but also for someone who has a larger yard, but they want to draw attention to a smaller section of their yard, you can add that height right here, put it over plants that are a little bit lower growing and add some interest up above. So it just kind of looks like it's just bicycling, bicycling right through the air in your garden. I love it. Awesome. And Nancy and I are just standing here spinning the wheels only mm -hmm. because there is no air There's movement no wind. in the studio. <laughs> right. You would not have to do this. They will move. Does it take a, does it need a huge wind gust? No, they usually, you know, make their spinners to spin in as little as three miles an hour of wind. So it just really depends on where you put it. If you put it up closer to the house, you know, that's going to block the wind more. So sure. if you really want to make sure, you know, and then you might maybe are enjoying it as a sculpture. Mm -hmm. If you want it to really have just that air movement, then put it a little further away from your house. But okay. I think even if it's not moving, it's an adorable oh, sculpture. Absolutely. And I loved having this by my bird feeder. I showed you the picture mm -hmm. where I had a chickadee that was sitting actually That's on awesome. the seat waiting to go <laughs> into the feeder. It's so cute. So um, this is what you need to know. The two color choices. If you want the red, I have less than 200 of these to go around. Oh, I'm sorry. Now less than 150. Again, wow. we are busy on the phone. So please go to QVC.com to place your order. Quickest way to do so or the app on your phone. Then we have the blue too. Four easy payments, just $6.25 wow. to get at home. Uh, and I only have 600 in the blue. And blue, we don't see a lot of blue in our gardens. Why? Because you can't normally get them in flowers. Right. You know, the, usually the blue reserved for ponds or water. Not all of us can do that. And again, this is just that throwback. That exactly. throwback feel to a simpler time mm -hmm. that brings back those memories, the charm. Remember yep. maybe how neighborhoods used to be and how you spent so much more of your time outdoors than maybe oh, you do actually, now. Yeah, and that freedom that you had riding your bike oh, the around. the freedom. You know, yes. I remember when I was younger, 
too. I used to put a basket on the front of my bike and I put my little dog Peppy inside the basket. Would you put and Peppy and he would stay? Peppy stayed. Peppy loved. Peppy's a good boy. <laughs> he loved going for bike rides. Aww. So when I see this, it reminds me of that when I'd be riding around in the neighborhood with Peppy in my <laughs> basket on the front of my bike and just, you know, having fun. And it's just kind of that. Or maybe you were someone who rented bikes on the beach or the boardwalk. Mm, and that's we do kind all of the that time. memory of your family spending that fun time together. And so I just think Plow and Hearth does such a beautiful job with their metal sculptures. So I'm going to stop it even if you see that it's just not even moving. It's really just a cool piece. But then when these wheels start turning, you see that movement, you see that flash of color. So, so pretty. It has that vintage finish. Mm -hmm. Remember, iron metal construction, yes. beautiful, leave out in the elements. It's meant to have that weathered look yes. because it is that throwback. It's nostalgia. And every time you look at it, it will make you think of that memory that you had with a bicycle or somebody that you knew who loved to ride their bicycle or just being a kid when things were a little bit more carefree. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and that's the beauty of having pieces. And it's a, just a little bit of maybe your personality. So in the red, I now have less than three dozen to go around. Wow. That is it. So this is going to be gone. So please call now. Take advantage of that easy pay. It's M43958. And then I had the blue, but about 500 of the blue to go around. And then that's it. It's $25. And if you've loved Plow and Hearth, I got to tell you, to find something around that price point, it's, it's not nice. easy. Not for mm -hmm. something that um, makes such an impact. It's it's really a work of art for your yes, yard. It sure Nancy, is. Nancy, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having me. Oh, always a pleasure. Okay. So we just heard from Roxanne giving us gardening tips, but she's going to give us one of the most amazing I'm not even gonna call it a gardening tool because I have used this thing year round. I mean, this was a lifesaver for the rock salt that was